Hey folks, in today's video, I'm going to show you the simple process of uploading and embedding an audio file into Canvas. So today I'm using Canvas's new rich content editor. You kind of know that you're on the new one because it looks just like this. It's a simpler design in a lot of ways and has some powerful tools, but that also means that there are a couple of things that are worth uh, kind of checking in on. So today I'm going to show you how to import an MP3 file into a reply on a discussion post, but know that this process is the same if you're editing a page on Canvas, editing an assignment on Canvas, or really anything else in Canvas because it all uses the same text editor. Pro, uh, uh, text editor. So with that, let's go ahead and get into it. So once you are in the rich content editor, the icon that you're looking for is right here. And this is the upload uh, record media tool. And it looks like a little play icon with a little music note in the bottom right hand corner. I'm going to go ahead and click on this and you can see that it brings down a drop down menu that shows the option to record, uh, upload slash record media course media and user media. These bottom two options are if you already have uploaded some files into your course and you want to attach them directly, but today we're going to be uploading a file that's not yet in Canvas, so we're going to choose the upload slash record media option. This brings up the following screen that we're going to use to attach our file. I will note that there is a choice here to embed, so this is the same tool that you can use to embed things like YouTube videos or SoundCloud podcasts, and so if you had some HTML embed code, you could go ahead and paste it here, but that's not what we're doing today. Um, there's also the ability to record either audio or audio video in this tool, and so if you wanted to record something directly into Canvas, uh, in terms of an audio file, you could come turn the webcam off to be no video, make sure that your microphone is selected and click start recording and do it that way. Again, not what we're doing today, but useful for a variety of purposes. So today what we want to do is upload an audio file. Before starting this recording today, I created a little sample audio file using the Audacity program. If you're going to be doing a lot of audio stuff, the Audacity is a free program that's really easy to use and makes it real simple to kind of edit and fix audio files. I'll leave a link to that down in the description. But let's pop back over to Canvas and you can see from the computer option that there is this little rocket ship and it says drag a file here. And you can definitely do that drag and drop option, pull it up on your desktop, drag it there and select it. But you can also click on the rocket ship and this will take you into your Explorer, pretty similar on a Mac or PC. And you can see on my desktop, I've saved a file called sample mp3 file. And so I'm gonna go ahead and select that and open it. And it takes just a second, but then it opens it up so that it can be previewed. And you can see that I can press the play button here to make sure that it sounds all right. This is my sample MP3 file. That sounds good to me, so it is ready to be imported into Canvas. So I'm going to go ahead and click Submit. And you'll notice that this little gray box shows up, and eventually there's a little circle that spins before the preview shows up. It's important to wait and let that process finish before you save or submit your files. If you have a bigger file, it's going to take longer. If you're using the same process to do a video, it can take quite some time. You'll know that it's ready to go when the preview shows up. And so for an audio file, that looks like this little document icon with a music note in it. And you can see that there is the play and timeline and adjustments tool here. Once you've got this, you're good to go. You can go ahead and click save or post reply, depending on where you're at in Canvas. And then you can see that the file that I uploaded is here, embedded and easy to play. This is my sample MP3 file. Well, folks, that's really all there is to it. I hope that this tutorial was helpful for you. And as always, thanks for watching.